One of my favorite videos to do each season on YouTube is Pinterest recreation. So this is basically going through my Pinterest. I absolutely love Pinterest, by the way. It is such a source of inspiration and it is such a positive and uplifting corner of the internet. So I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you are all familiar with Pinterest and how it works and what it is. Obviously, we all know and love Pinterest by now, but if you're looking for more inspiration, ideas, etc., I will leave my Pinterest linked down below. I am on Pinterest all the time, constantly refreshing my content on there. But anyway, I typically once a season kind of scour Pinterest do some deep dives into search terms and content, and I love to find some outfits to recreate. Now, this basically is just a way for me to kind of think outside the box when it comes to my style and my fashion. So it is such a fun way to kind of look at what I already have in my wardrobe, recreate that into an inspiration and idea based on what uh, image on Pinterest is saying or is giving me the inspiration for. So that's what this video is. It's going to be a bit of a voiceover, a bit of a lookbook so that you can all maybe gain some inspiration on how to put together looks in your own wardrobe, how to shop your own closet, how to potentially feel like you need to buy less this season as we're going into the kind of late fall and early winter months of the year. So let's dive right into Pinterest recreating outfits for late fall, early winter. This first look is a slightly more colorful, casual look that I saw and just thought that that would be the perfect Christmas decorating, cozy day look, or even a more casual work from home look. It is a just such a fun play on proportions. I absolutely love the straight leg denim with then the chunky knit and then also the juxtaposition of kind of the more feminine top with the ruffles. So this was my recreation of it. I had a green sweater. The sweater from Alex Mill is such a go-to for me in my wardrobe. I absolutely love it. The only thing I didn't have for this look that I do really feel like pulls it all together are the loafers. Now I have a few different types of loafers, but none that are more of this penny loafer style. So I do think that instead of Birkenstocks, if you have a pair of brown or black loafers, that this would just really pull the outfit together and really do a very good job of recreating what this lovely woman has in this outfit. This second look definitely trends on the more early fall, but where I live in South Carolina, sometimes you still have days in November that are 75 degrees. So I adapted this a little bit more for late fall style, switching out the sandals for a pair of closed-toed low Cezanne Jack sneakers, but I love the light wash denim, the ribbed top, and then the white collarless lady jacket over top. I think that this is just such a classic and classy style. You could adapt this for every single season, for wintertime, wear a turtle neck instead of a tank underneath. You could throw even an overcoat over this for extra warmth or obviously in the spring and summer add a pair of denim shorts, add your sandals, etc. So this is just such a fun look and if you have basically a pair of light wash denim and a jacket like this, it is a really easy one to recreate. This next look is not a strange one to my wardrobe at all. I actually wear a variation of this outfit maybe once a week in the winter time and fall time. I absolutely love it. So basically if you do not have a midi to long length neutral colored sweater dress of sorts, get yourself one. There are so many beautiful styles this year at every single price point. My exact dress I bought in London last year for I thought is a very reasonable price and I wear it all the time. So I'm just pairing it here with my Everlane glove boots. 
I have been on the hunt for high heeled brown leather knee high boots and have yet to find them in my price point this year. So regretfully, I do not have boots similar to what this woman is wearing, but I do have these ankle height Everlane glove boots that I wear on repeat because they are so incredibly comfortable. They're easy to walk in, easy to style, easy to wear. So this is not a revolutionary outfit. It's neutrals, it's classic, but it is such a good one to have when you just have those days where you don't know what you're going to wear. I am not even going to apologize for all of the neutral tones in these images because, well, that's just basically who I am. But this look is a play on, again, a look that has been recreated many times in the past, a black mini skirt. Mine is just a denim one from Target that I love. And adding a chunky sweater with a white t-shirt. My sweater it happened to be a pullover instead of a cardigan. And I think that that's such a good tip is when you're looking at these Pinterest inspiration images, that's what they are. Use them as inspiration. Don't feel like you need to go out and buy exact pieces that are featured in this video on Pinterest, etc. Use what you might have in your own wardrobe, fill in the holes where needed. But if you see a chunky cardigan and you have something similar in a pullover then use that instead work with what you have don't feel like you need to copy exact looks because at the end of the day style is about your own personality shining through with the pieces you put on your body Monochrome outfits are one of the easiest ways to maybe play around with your sense of style while not going too far out of your comfort zone. But you can also think about monochromatic being a variation of more than just black on black or gray on gray. Try creams and neutrals or ivories and whites together. Bring in a bit of a grounding with either pops of black or a dark brown color in a belt, in your shoes, in your bag, in your accessories, etc. But I love this outfit because again, it plays with proportions really well with the slightly cropped pant, the ankle boot. So you see more of the boot instead of uh, maybe more bell bottom top bottom that then covers your shoe, etc. So this is just such a really lovely classic outfit that you could wear for so many occasions. I've seen this outfit floating around Pinterest for a while now, and I knew that I wanted to recreate it at some point, but thought I kind of had to wait for those perfectly bell-bottom flare style jeans to come into my life. Well, I thought I would go ahead and give this a whirl with more of a bootcut pair of jeans from Abercrombie that I have and let my beautiful Cezanne boots, lace-up boots, very Parisian boots, kind of be more of the statement rather than the denim. So I think that having a statement piece like a pair of boots tied in with a beautiful hair scarf in your hair is just such a really lovely way to, again, do a recreation of an outfit that inspires you instead of doing an exact replica or copy of it. But find yourself a pair of great boots I think that that's a theme in this entire video. A pair of really good ankle boots, no matter the color, is going to last you for years and years to come and will be a staple and beautiful piece of your wardrobe. One day, I honestly hope to be as cool as this girl. Um, in my 32 years of life, I'm not sure if I've ever achieved that, but we love goals to work towards. But on a more serious note, this look is super easy to reach. Just grab a pair of denim, any pair of denim that you have, a puffer jacket. I'm sure you have one in your wardrobe from years past. They're coming back, which I am thrilled about. A super oversized baggy sweater and you're good to go. I loved the monochromatic look of this. I didn't have a sweater that was in my kind of vest maroon color but if you can find a bit of a monochromatic look like this i think it just pulls the outfit together but if not it's such an easy classic but also cool girl street style look for no matter where you're going what you're doing what city you're in etc 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will leave all of the items that we talked about that I showed in the description below, as well as my Pinterest and other social media channels that you can follow me for more content weekly. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.